alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habata fillah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamualaikum Kareem Rabbil Arsh al -Azim. And yet tawallana fi dunya wal akhira We ask our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala To bless us With ikhlas wa thabad ala sunnah Sunnah al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to rectify our condition and affairs. Ahabat fillah, there's no doubt as Muslims we have a need for ilm al nafia. We have a need for ilm al nafia, for beneficial knowledge. Because beneficial knowledge gives you the means to discern the haqq. To discern the truth. Beneficial knowledge can protect you from the tentacles of the shaitan and protect you and help you to navigate with all the fitna. The fitna that you see between the Muslims. The fitna that you see with the people of misguidance, the fitna that you see from those who wish to harm and destroy the Muslims. So as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should be concerned about raising ourselves, raising our status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that comes through ilm and nafia. It comes through beneficial knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem يَرْفَعِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا عِلْمَ دَرَجَاتِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Mubin that Allah raises up those who have knowledge from amongst us and those who are believers in different levels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives station to the people of knowledge, station to the people of Iman, station to the people of Taqwa. And that's why He raises them darajat. And if you want to seek knowledge, then the best way to do that is to have taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then strive on the journey to seek knowledge from its people. Seek knowledge min ahlihi. Take knowledge from its people and traverse the path of knowledge. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned he said man salaka tariqan yal talmisuhu bihi ilman sahhalallahu luhu bihi tariqan ala jannah he says, whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So make sure that you strive to get on that beautiful and blessed tariqah. And I want to encourage myself and others to do that. To make sure that you're trying to better your Islamic knowledge. You're striving to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lastly, ahabat fillah. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallama mentioned May yuridullahu bihi khayran yafiqahu fi deen Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him fiqh or understanding of the religion. So striving to gain understanding and gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is imperative for us as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is a way to gain the love and the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you're practicing. The Salaf used to say, Al-Aml Thamarat al -ilm. Knowledge or actions are the Thamarat, they're the 
uh, they are the fruits of, uh, of actions are the fruits of knowledge or action is the fruit of knowledge and also the Salaf used to say Talib al-Ilm, Talib al-Jannah seeking knowledge is seeking paradise seeking knowledge is seeking paradise and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the mighty and majestic to forgive us of our sins and bless us to do those things that please him and protect us from those things which displease him wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam